everyone, so today I thought we could sit down. Is my mic plugged in and everything? Yes, okay. <sighs> Let me tell you. Okay, um, I figured we could sit down and chit chat while I get ready. The palette I'm gonna be using is the Anastasia Beverly Hills Sultry palette. I feel like this was a pretty popular release. A lot of people have it. And another reason I wanted to use it is because if you don't have it, the shades I'm gonna be using are super similar to really any shades you can find in a lot of different palettes, drugstore palettes or just Morphe palettes or whatever, uh, where I'm just gonna be using this like, tan shade and some shimmery shades. And it's basically just a look I've been doing during quarantine, <laughs> really. When I just feel like I need a little boost, a little pep, something to make the world feel normal again, where I just, I don't know, sometimes, by the way, I'm using this MAC Brow, it's the Shape and Shade Brow Tint and the Shade Fling. Sometimes when I just like feel like staying in bed all day, sometimes just having a little bit of a face on makes me feel a little bit more productive. I don't know what it is about it. I have no problem with my naked face uh, or not wearing makeup. It just sometimes when I put on a face, I just feel like, I'm accomplishing something, <laughs> like I'm productive. And also I feel like this might be my look for summer. Like just my simple, quick and easy summer look. So why not get a head start on it? And get this out there, what do I, is somebody here? what I get from Amazon? <gasps> Ooh, it's my gravy. I ordered gravy off Amazon. <laughs> I gotta go to the grocery store, which makes me hella nervous. And I gotta go pick up my dog's prescription. She has allergies. Speaking of allergies, oh my god, <laughs> they're so bad this year. I could, I could cry. I could cry. Um, so I'm not gonna lie. I filmed this before. Started filming this yesterday. I'm gonna do a whole life update situation, which I ended up doing vlog style. I folded laundry and made some dinner last night, and just went ahead and filmed that. Filming a little bit of that vlog also today, so I could just, I don't know, do it in a separate video. Um, but the reason I didn't end up finishing it yesterday is because my eyes were all dry and crusty, like my eyelids. I do not know what was going on. They're, they seem okay today, but oh my gosh. I don't know if it was a reaction to something or if it was just allergies, but we're, we're better today, so we're trying it again. Also, I wanted to do a Q&A. I haven't done one in a really long time. So if you have any questions, I figured while we're filming more videos and doing more things, I could do a little Q&A. So down in the comments, if you have any questions or whatever, uh, just curious about something, let me know in the, in the comments. Anyway, what am I talking about now? What are we doing? So we're kind of down to the bare bones in my house. Uh, by the way, using more eye primer. I'm gonna put it all over my eyelid. Uh, when it comes to groceries, last night we had a full on quarantine dinner with canned food and flaked mashed potatoes. So I'm excited to get some fresh vegetables and fruits today. Oh, by the way, oops, sorry. I'm going into the shade Birch. One of the Birch, Birch right here in the Soul Tree palette. It's a camel, a warm camel color. So if you have any sort of warm camel type of color, uh, that's the one to use. And I'm using a blending brush. I'm just placing it in the outer corner and blending it into the crease. Nothing fancy, not being too precise with this. Just gonna be a really blended out type of look making it more of a natural-ish look. It's natural for me. Anyway, what was I saying? Oh, going to the grocery store. So I just, I'm still going, but I only go every two weeks. I'm trying to go three weeks, but I don't know if that's possible. I've got some meal plan. Maybe I should tell you what my meal plan is. How about it? I think tonight I'm making, I don't even know what my meal plan is. I do all my meal planning on Trello. If you want to see how I do my meal planning, I guess I can show you one day. I found out about Trello I don't even know. I think it was a sponsored video of somebody's, but I actually ended up really liking it. I love when that happens. When you watch a sponsored video and you try it and you're like, this is really good. That's what I hope every single sponsorship ever is that I do. Like, I hope people are liking it. Like, oh yeah, I love this because that's, that's the whole idea. I'm not trying to just like try to convince you to buy things that suck. You know what I mean? All right. What is this? What's today? Oh, we're just doing something sim simple tonight. Yeah, that's, well, that's a good idea because Tonight, probably not gonna feel like cooking. So I think we're just gonna do, this is my go-to um, kinda really quick and easy dinner if I have it. 
if I don't feel like cooking, I just do a salad, like a bagged salad. This is still crusty, it's like really dry. I don't understand. Sorry, needs. I didn't fart, that's my dog growling. Oh Lord, and then I'm gonna put shimmer over it. <laughs> oh God, okay, anyway. Um, maybe I'm not drinking enough water and drinking too many rose ciders. Probably. On my quick nights for dinner, I do a salad and just like fries or tater tots or something. It's like the mix of something healthy and then something that I'm like, like fried food, like something that I'm craving. And so that's what I'm making tonight, fries and a salad. <laughs> just a bunch of sides, basically. And on a Friday I have uh, sheet pan fajitas. Saw a recipe on Pinterest. And try it out. All right, so next, let's do, where's my flat brush? Oh no, it has green on it. What, what's this one? Whoops. I don't know what that has on it. It looks sticky though. I'm just gonna use this one. This is the Sigma E55 brush, just a flatter, denser kind of, I don't know. I'm gonna go into the shade Rose Quartz. This one right here. Rose, like a rose gold shimmer. I'm gonna put this on the center of the lid. Make sure I bring out extra flakiness, dryness. <laughs> I'm gonna do it on the other one as well. Then I'm gonna go into the shade Pearl, which is this really pretty champagne-y, shimmery shade. I'm gonna put that on the inner third and then just kind of blend it a little bit into the rose quartz shade. Then I'm gonna go into this smaller, dense, this smaller dome brush. All right, I'm gonna go into the shade Dystopian. This one, this one, wait, this, this. Darker, it's a dark brown. Put it in the outer corner just a little bit and just kinda tap it on. So, what was I saying about Oh, fajita, sheet pan fajitas. And the next day, what, what was the next day? I think I'm just gonna do like a stir fry, like Asian stir fry. And then the next day, I saw this recipe on Pinterest for this spinach, mushroom, and caramelized onion pasta. Oh, it looks so good. So I'm gonna try that. We'll see. And then after that, we're already going into week two. And then that's when I just start throwing together whatever I have left eating canned and frozen foods and get back into, sorry, dip back into that birch shade that was our transition shade and I'm just gonna kinda go over and blend out that dystopian shade and just kinda, yep. That's kinda what my meal plan looks like. I don't know what you guys are, I don't know if you guys have any recipe ideas or what you're doing. If you wanna leave any, like your, if you have a meal plan, if you wanna leave it in the comments, I always need ideas. I'm going to the shade Fresh. Which is this shade right here. I'm gonna put it on my brow bone. Right next, I'm gonna zoom you out because I'm gonna do my face. Whoa, sorry. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna put on some primer. This No Pore Blemo Touch In Soul, Touch In Soul um, brand. So anyway, oh, oh, okay. I have Fallout and no makeup wipes. So we're just gonna go with it. <laughs> my life. Um. Anyway, so what are you doing to stay busy? I saw a, this is so random. I saw a discount for The Sims and I thought about it because back in high school, let me tell you, I played The Sims. I think I spent an entire summer playing The Sims only, never, not even seeing a soul, just playing The Sims. If you know Rosebud, then you know Rosebud. Uh, it was basically just a code where you could get more money. Um, and also Roller Coaster Tycoon <laughs> was one of my favorites then. But anyway, The Sims, I saw there was a discount, it was like $5 the other day. I almost gave into it, but then I was like, I will never put out a video again because I will not do anything else with my life. I love The Sims so much that I already know it's a problem. So I, I, didn't, I didn't buy it. But every time I see the ad, I think about it. All right, what do we got? We got... Anastasia Beverly Hills Foundation. This is their Luminous Foundation in the shade 110C. I'm still obsessed with this. Oh, I didn't even put on, did I put on sunscreen today already? Pretty sure I didn't. We're just staying inside anyway. So I'll be outside for like 2.5 seconds. And I'm using the Anastasia Beverly Hills Foundation Brush, which I love this thing. It's good on dry skin, which is really all I care about. 
And it blends nicely. I guess I care about that too. I have clearly been working on this pimple. It's like you can see my nail marks from trying to pop it. Girl, cover that up. Anyway, um, what else? Oh, I ordered my seeds for my garden this year. I'm doing cucumbers, two different types of cucumbers. Uh, tomatoes. Just being a domestic goddess over here in the quarantine. <laughs> I don't know even what I have to talk about because literally this, it's just like not having a life. But you can tell me what you're up to. Oh, also I'm watching cable television. I don't know how many people even watch cable television anymore, but I do. I've been watching, and I think this is also on Hulu, but I'm watching Married at First Sight, which I watched, my brother and I watched that show. I think I mentioned this before, maybe not. My brother and I watch it, and then we text each other commentary. <laughs> so I've been watching that, and I'm obsessed with all of the baking shows. I think I've talked about this before. I secretly feel like I'm the best baker ever, even though I never bake. <laughs> They bake and they compete and oh my gosh, I just love it. I love all of them. I love the Halloween baking championship the, the most. That's my favorite one, Halloween Wars. Love all the Halloween ones, but I watch all this, like I watch the holiday ones and then I watch the spring one and I watch the kid one. I just love competitive baking shows. <laughs> I don't know, tell me your guilty pleasure when it comes to TV down in the comments. Baking shows, 1000% mine. I love it. It's been so nice where I live. It's gonna be like 80 degrees and you know it's going bad when you have to start talking about the weather. All right, let's talk about something else. My sinus here is like bulging out of my face right now. Oh, girl. <laughs> I'm just a mess, okay. So I'm excited about a video coming up. Like really excited. You guys have been saying that you like you want to see more spooky things or Halloween-esque things, and I can't wait. I'm not waiting. So, uh, especially during all of this, I just, I need some spookiness in my life. So, I have some stuff coming up. All right, so face is on. You know your skin is dry when a luminous foundation looks matte. Anyway, I need to drink more water. That's, that's the consensus here. Oh, and by the way, I'm using the ColourPop Pretty Fresh Hyaluronic Creamy Concealer. This is the shade 20N and 33C. I'm going to blend this in with a beauty blender. All the trash is here. Oh, get this. I have to tell you this. Speaking of the trash people. So, <laughs> I think it was like last Friday. And... Oh, just got powder all over my leggings. Whatever. Hopefully people will stay away from me at the store then. Okay. So, the trash. Oh. <laughs> okay, this is my story. Wait. Where? Oh, and I'm using the Milk Makeup Translucent Powder, and I'm just going to make my under eye look even drier. We're going to go. <gasps> okay, that could have been bad. This is actually making it look a little bit better. I'm just gonna tell myself that. Okay, last Friday I did a whole, I did a bunch of yard work. Bagged it all, had like 3,000 bags. This guy walks by, Thank, thankfully, he's like the sweetest man for telling me this, but also I was <laughs> secretly angry. Uh, or he was like, oh, don't you know that yesterday was the last day that they pick up yard waste and that they're temporarily stopping because of coronavirus. And I'm sitting there with my 3,000 paper bags filled with yard waste, like, for real? I have to keep all of these in my garage <laughs> for who knows how long? So every time I go out into my garage, I have a full-on allergy attack because <laughs> it's just all of this yard waste in my garage, in these bags. Because the day before I did my yard work, they, it was the last day they picked it up. So I can go drop it off. I'm not trying to run errands places, and I don't even know if that's essential. I don't know, but I had to laugh at my own misfortune because I was like, of course, of course yesterday was the last day, of course it was. Um, you guys can tell me if you're having a garden or if you're doing yard work. I um, mean, it's still really early even to do yard work, but it's warming up quick. And honestly, I don't like going out there once the bees and wasps come out. And my neighbors probably think I'm on something because I run around the yard. Because <laughs> ah! it's just non-stop wasps and bees. Where is my freaking other, oh, no, looking for eyeliner. 
I have this debilitating straight up Mori, I think I've said this before, Mori, Ricky Lake, I don't know, Sally Jesse Raphael type of fear or Oprah type fear where I need to go on a show, at, which if you're, if you remember, or if you don't remember, by the way, I'm gonna use some liquid eyeliner. This is the ColourPop liquid liner. This is a little shiny for my taste, but I'm just gonna be going right across the lash line just to give, just to make my lashes look fuller when I put on fake lashes. So I'm not doing a full on wing. Anyway, if you don't remember, Sally Jesse Raphael was a talk show host, kind of like a more dramatic Oprah, or I guess Oprah at one point was kind of like this, but Ricky Lake, Sally Jesse Raphael, Maury, before Maury only did DNA tests, there was like, he did all sorts of like, my teenager refuses to wear anything but saran wrap. Those were good ones. Anyways, they had all these fear ones, like where they would have entire shows where people would, uh, where people would have to face their fears on stage. So, you know, if it's like snakes or whatever, um, they'd have to go and then they'd bring out a snake on stage and the person would freak out like, ah! like, <laughs> anyways, it doesn't seem nice now, but this was the 90s, you have to remember. It's a different time. We, we profited off phobias back then. And I don't even know if half of them were real. You never really knew if it was real or staged. I mean, Jerry was for sure staged, but do you ever really know? I mean, after watching Tiger King, I can't be sure. Okay, I don't know why I'm trying to talk during this. Maybe I'll just do it really quick. Um, but I feel like my fear of wasps could be validated for sure. Okay, wait, using the Sephora waterproof retractable liner, I'm gonna do the possessed method, AKA tight lining. But anyway, so I feel like it could be validated though because most of the people, when you do exposure therapy, and that's essentially what they did live on stage on these play at these talk shows, is basically expose people to their fear. And then they realize it's not that bad. Okay, but what about wasps? Because I feel like if you brought a wasp into a room and put it on somebody, like, here, you shouldn't be scared. They would still sting the crap out of you. There's no way they wouldn't, right? Like, they're just gonna lay on your arm. Or, like, bring a yellow jacket out. Okay, just hold it really quick. <laughs> no, it would sting the crap out of me. It would hurt. And then I would still be afraid of them. And so that's how I validate my, my phobia of wasps. I will literally jump out of a moving vehicle. What was funny is, well, this is actually not funny, but my dad laughed at me. I'm using this mascara, I got a little tester mascara. I'm using the Pat McGrath Labs. This is the Fetish Eyes Mascara. This is pretty good. Um, brush looks like this. So I like the brush, but it's not my favorite. I really like the Milk Makeup uh, Mascara. No hate, just prefer it. Okay, so, what was I saying? Oh, my dad and I went on a road trip and we pulled into a gas station. My dad had to run in really quick. I was sitting there minding my own business. My dad comes back out, gets in the car, and a wasp flies in. Because he was just taking his time getting in the car. And I already knew there were wasps everywhere. It was the middle of summer. I was like, a wasp is gonna come in. And I'm like, Jade, it's an irrational fear. Don't think about it. And sure enough, a wasp flies in the truck. What are the odds? Wasp flies in. I literally open the door, roll out of the car. <laughs> and like I'm on fire or something. Even though the wasp isn't even on me. It's like just flying in the car. And my dad's just standing there laughing. <laughs> He's a farm kid, like kid. He's not. He doesn't farm anymore. But he's he was born and bred on a farm. So he's just like laughing at me, <laughs> like damn city kid. <laughs> anyway, eventually the wasp got out, and then I got back in the car, and secretly worried about another wasp coming in the rest of the trip. But that's okay. All right. So now we're gonna do the lower lash line while that's drying. Um, I'm gonna use this little dome brush that we used for the darker color on the outside. I'm gonna dip it back into the birch shade, which is the um, camel color. I'm gonna run this across my lower lash line. Hopefully this will cover up some of that dryness. I'm going back into dystopian, which is the dark brown color. And I'm putting it on this again, but I'm pressing this one up closer to my lash line. You can use a smaller brush if the if it makes you nervous that you're gonna blow out the like just like make it really dark. But I just make sure I press it really cro crouch close to the lash line. 
like so. Don't even know what else to talk about. I'm ready for this to be over and I'm ready for <laughs> Halloween decorations. I'm just hoping this is all over by that time. All right, so then I'm gonna go in the shade Fresh, which I keep wanting to call it Flesh. Put it on the, mm, nope. Gonna go into the shade Pearl. Put Pearl in the inner corner, it's too dry. Well, I'll do both. Fresh, Pearl, putting those on the inner corner. Right, now we're gonna put mascara on the lower lash line. All right, so for bronzer, I'm gonna be using the NYX Sculpt and Highlight duo in taupe and ivory i'm gonna go into the bronzer shade like i kind of wipe it off because it's just a little intense even for me i'm just gonna put a couple dots on my face and then i'm gonna use this real techniques bronzer brush or contour brush and just kind of start blending it out and i've been using this for a while i don't even know if they still sell this it might be discontinued now uh, if I can find it, I'll link it in the description because I like this. I got these two new blushes from ColourPop. It's part of their Mauve, Making Mauve or Mauve, whatever Mauve collection they just put out. And there's two different ones. kind of wanted to try one. There's this pinky rose one, which I'm thinking is the one I'm going to use. Or, uh, here's this one. I'm going to use this one. It's called Coast to Coast. It's a mauve you know. I love a good mauve cool tone blush. I'm gonna try it. Marissa. Oh, pretty. I think I like this. Just tapping it on. Oh, that's so pretty. I love this. Such a pretty mauve, like natural, cool tone. Next, what are we doing? Oh, we'll do highlight using the Anastasia Beverly Hills Amrezi. Highlighter with this big old fat uh, fan brush from Beach Cosmetics. Putting this on. Mm. Oh, forever my favorite. Okay, let's put on some lashes, shall we? Mm. These are the, by the way, Siren double lashes from House of Lashes. These are my new favorites. Siren have been my favorite for a long time, but these are extra thick. All right, so for lips, I've been doing a grayish lip with this per usual, but this is the type of eye look where I think you could go bold if you wanted to. So like a bright red lip or vampy lip or black lip or whatever you wanted to do. But I've been doing something a little bit more natural. Um, either I've been going with, you know, my favorite, Anastasia Beverly Hills liquid lipstick in the shade Grim, which is a really pretty dark grayish, or Lime Crimes Cashmere, which is an oldie but goodie, uh, one of my old favorites. But I've been going back to cashmere because it's just a little bit more natural, so I've been liking it. So I'm gonna use this. I don't know. All right. Okay. My ring keeps coming off. Everyone's outside walking around. All right, so I think I'm gonna go get some earrings and put those on. I'll be right back. I'm gonna put on these Ata Love knife earring. I don't know exactly what they're called, but they're just little knives with a heart. And these are my new favorite earrings ever right now. I can't stop wearing them. They are, they feel so good on the ears and I have the most sensitive ears ever. My ear just does not feel painful or itchy or inflamed. <laughs> Those are all terrible things to happen, but that's what happens. When I was a little girl, I used to have to wear those plastic earrings. If you know, you know. This one's always a challenge. I'm pretty sure my mom poked 30,000 holes in this one. Oh, got it. All right, so this has been like my whole look. This is like my whole quarantine fancy look. Anyways, this is the final look. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, you can give it a thumbs up. Say hey, well, hey down in the comments because you know I love talking to you or anything I talked about in this video. If you felt like saying anything about it or chit-chatting, go for it in the comments. We can talk about all the things, so yeah. Anyways, hope you're doing okay out there and you and your family are all safe and healthy or doing well. Anyways, thank you so much for watching and I will see you guys next time.